product specialist for Fender. Austin Chandler, I am a product specialist for Fender, and you are probably wondering how an amp that costs less than a hundred dollars can sound pretty much in the ballpark of Gary Rosington's over two thousand dollar PV head. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not the old-fashioned way. Uh, that guitar, uh, that amplifier has no tubes in it, my friends. It is a digital amplifier, and it can do that as well as a lot more. Now, the days of having no other choice but to lug around expensive, heavy tube amplifiers are over. That being said, we still offer them, so if you want an expensive, heavy amplifier, you know, feel free to send us your money. We really appreciate it. But we also offer this amplifier right here, as well as many just like it. My friends, this is the Fender Mustang Amplifier Series. This here is the Fender Mustang 1. Uh, as you can see here, this is our entire product line. This is a floor model, so in case you already have an amplifier that you really love, you can still benefit from the Fender Mustang series. Uh, just to the right of it is the Fender Mustang Mini that takes six C batteries, or you can plug it into a wall uh, if you feel like conserving your C batteries. To the right of that is the Fender Mustang 1, the 2, the 3, 4, and Mustang V or 5 half stack. Now I'll try and get through this as quickly as I can so I can show you more about the amplifier, but let's start off with the floor unit, the Mustang floor. This has nine foot switches. They can each do different things. Uh, you have such as a foot switch for your overdrive and compression effects, modulation, and an expression pedal over there on the right. Uh, it comes with 12 amp models. Uh, you get 100 onboard factory and user presets, as well as an onboard tuner. So, you know, it's nice to make sure that you're always in tune. Uh, moving on, there's the Fender Mustang Mini. That is a 7-watt mini digital amplifier. Uh, it has a specially designed Fender speaker, very nice bass response. And this entire line, starting with the Mustang Mini, is covered in black carbon tweed coating. Uh, it really adds to the nice uh, Fender Silver Face type amplifier cosmetics. It also, as you can see, has a silver grill. Uh, moving on, there is the Fender Mustang 1, which is what I have right here. Uh, it has one quarter inch input, and uh, as our buddies at PV would say, if you can't figure out what that is for, please put the amplifier back in the box, go find a pair of drumsticks. Uh, it has one channel with 24 presets, um, lots of different overdrive and modulation effects. Uh, as you can see here, you have a knob for modulation and then a knob for your delay and reverb type effects. Uh, I should mention that all of the amplifiers in this series also come with Fender Ableton software and uh, the Fender Fuse software, which allows you to c connect to the internet and download presets as well as communicate with the Fender uh, Mustang community. Uh, moving on, there's the Mustang 2, which is a 40 watt amplifier through one 12 inch speaker. Uh, pretty much the same DSP platform. Uh, you also have, uh, just like the Mustang 1 and the Mustang Mini, USB capability to connect it to your computer. As you can see here, I have it hooked up to this monitor. Uh, moving on, there is the Mustang 3 amplifier, which is a 100 watt amplifier through a 12 inch Celestion speaker. Uh, the Mustang 1 and the Mustang 2 have specially designed Fender speakers, 
Once you get past the uh, Mustang 3, you have these really, really nice Celestion speakers. Lots of people love those. Uh, again, you have the black textured carbon tweed vinyl covering and the silver grill cloth. Uh, past that, there's the Mustang 4. The Mustang 4 uh, has two 12-inch Celestion speakers. That's 75 watts to both speakers. Uh, why don't I go through pricing really quick? Right after the Mustang 5, that's 150 watts, uh, 100 presets, an even better DSP platform, and that's four Celestion speakers. Now, the Mustang Floor, that's $200. The Mustang Mini, that's $130. The Mustang 1, like you see here, that's $99. The Mustang 2 is $200. The Mustang 3 is $300. The Mustang 4 is $500, but you are getting two Celestion speakers. Uh, and then the Mustang 5 uh, is $600, which is a really great deal for a 4x12 half stack. Like, this type of thing, you can play any club uh, with, the, say, the Mustang 3 or the Mustang 4, but with this, you can play large outdoor venues, you know, no situation is too big for this particular amplifier. Why? Because even if you're playing, you know, down the street, large convention center, they can just mic it. Well, that is the end of the PowerPoint presentation, so why don't I show you more about the amplifier? Yeah. Come on. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll just leave that there. Uh, all right, so as you can see, you have four slots over here, uh, if I can direct your attention to the monitor. Uh, right now we have a compressor set up. I tell you what, just to give you a, an idea of some of the things this can do, let's put it on a deluxe reverb. Uh, keep in mind that is an amplifier that costs over $2,000, uh, modeled faithfully here through digital simulation. Uh, let's go ahead and put a modulation effect in the second slot, if I can find the mouse. Uh, a delay over here, and a reverb. Uh, now at this point I would like to call a volunteer to the stage, I have a microphone. Uh, would anybody like to come up? Oh come on, there has to be at least somebody out there. It'll be fun. Anybody? Well, I tell you what, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Got a mic right here for you. Okay, so uh, what's your name? Caitlin. What a coincidence, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Caitlin, as you can see here, there's a lovely color palette. Why don't you uh, just go ahead and pick a color? It's real simple. Just uh, got a little mouse right there. Yes, as you can see, all of these are fully customizable. Uh, that's your favorite color? But uh, this one right here, the sign chorus. What do you think would go nice with that color? Yeah, it's pretty nice. So then we've got a lovely green, a lovely purple. You can choose any color you want for these stomp boxes. So, uh, like I said, you have the USB capability. Thank you very much, Caitlin. Uh, that. Um, so you can bring your computer to the gig with you, and you can have this lovely pedal board right here. It is a digital pedal board set off to the left. Now, um, like I said, all of those beautiful colors, I'll go ahead and uh, X out of that really quick. I'm just going to give you an example really quick of some of the uh, type of compression effects that you can get with this amplifier. Now everything that you see here on the left side of the amplifier is as if you would be putting it in front of an actual amplifier. So it responds the way you would if you had a stomp box on the floor and you stomp on it and then it's driving the front end of the amplifier. So here it is without the overdrive effect. Then if I just click this here, let's uh, give that a little bit more level. And why don't we also boost the mids and the highs? 
Let's give that a nice uh, seafoam green. Uh, I should point out that uh, it, it, this is a very similar effect to the TS9. I'm sorry? Oh, okay. Um, so I'm just gonna really quick. There we go. Uh, there is a uh, uh, a foot switch that you can have for the amplifier that uh, will do this for you. But you can plug it here. Uh, then you can hear the difference between having it in front of the amplifier versus after the amplifier. Bit more compression, uh, it's a little bit darker, the same way that it would be if you actually had it in the effects loop. This is a simulated effects loop. Uh, well, thank you very much. That does conclude uh, this part of the presentation, but I would be happy to take any questions.